Hello everyone, today in this video I am going to uh, explain the solidifier modifier issues whenever you apply solidifier modifier onto the objects. So we have an example uh, which is this one. We need all these objects to look like this. So the issue is whenever you apply solidify modifier on these objects so this uh, I'm applying on this and uh, you can see uh, now it is uh, looks good on this now the another object on which if we apply solidify modifier it is looking like this and same if we apply solidify on these object on this object it looks like this but the thing is we need to maintain the symmetry around this uh, plane and like this we need to maintain this symmetry so what we are going to do is we need to uh, set the scale transformation to 111 now the scale transformation for this is 131 for this you can see 11 that's why it is uh, going symmetrically now on this is 131 so what we are going to do is we will press shift s cursor to select it and now we will press ctrl a and scale you can see it came back to 111 or also if we are using all transform then our pivot point is on the center of the world so that is why we have used our cursor earlier to set to this previous location now what we can do is we can use our origin to 3d cursor and same goes with these objects also uh, so we don't need to change apply any transformation on this because it is already 111 we need to apply transformation on this so what we're going to do is we will press shift s cursor to select it and now control a and you can also apply a scale or you can also apply all transform so we have already set our cursor to its previous location so we will use origin to 3d cursor now we can use bevel on these objects too so and i will use this this and this control L copy modifiers so this is how you can use solidify modifiers to maintain the symmetry of your object thanks for watching this video subscribe to my channel I will come with more videos like this thanks for watching